My lords, the French are very strong. They are five to one, and yet they all are fresh. No fighting men, they have full 40,000. The odds is all too great. Farewell, kind lords, brave Clarence. My lord of Gloucester, my lord of Warwick, and to all, farewell. Farewell, kind lord, fight valiantly today, and yet I do thee wrong, for thou art made on the bruised sparks of honor. And would we had but 10,000 men, now at this instant, that doth not work in England. Who's that that wishes so? My cousin Warwick. God's will, I would not lose the honor what man would share from me. Not from my kingdom. No faith, my cousin, wish not one man more. Rather, proclaim it presently through our camp that he that hath no stomach to this feast, let him depart. His passport shall be drawn, and crowns for convoy put into his purse. We would not die in that man's company that fears his fellowship to die with us. This day is called the day of Crispin. He that outlives this day and sees old age shall stand a tiptoe when this day is named, and rouse him at the name of Crispin. He that outlives this day and comes safe home shall yearly on the vigil feast his friends and say, tomorrow is St. Crispin's day. Then shall we in their flowing bowls be newly remembered. Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Clarence and Gloucester, Warwick and York, familiar in their mouths as household words. This story shall the good man tell his son, and from this day until the general doom, but we in it shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we bond of brothers, for he today that sheds his blood by mine shall be my brother. Ne'er he be so base, this day shall gentle his condition, and shall he strip his sleeves and show his scars, and say, these wounds I had on Crispin's day. And gentlemen in England now abed will think themselves accursed they were not here, and hold their manhoods cheap, whilst any speak that fought with us upon St. Crispin's day.